in the script include okay there are few things where we can touch okay how to call a script include from client side what is the way through glide ajax glide ajax okay ajax call how to call a script include in a, from server side class name dot function name class name dot function name that's it now okay these are the two things where you see it okay that means class name and function name na the same thing you see outside also like see you are calling a script include from a reference qualifier that time also you see but you see okay it started with something called new new class name and function name you got it right yes sir everyone you are following me yes sir okay yes. now there is one stupid question where it is not there in the documentation but the question will come okay types of script includes okay so types of script include is the question where people created it but it's not available in the documentation okay based on their view people uh did we cover this point ma types of script include in our class no sir no sir no, sir. no. XML, no. Uh, no, no, no. that is we have three, three types classless of... and class and something okay. like that okay so types of include uh, script include na no? so it is something like it is like imaginary topic okay even if you say this answer someone will say that answer okay so be cautious when you are answering it there in documentation you don't find any thing called types of script include that's for sure okay but see you are creating a script include okay when you are creating a script include na no? this is where people are generated this topic actually okay So I I create this one either or I will open this one. So see, see they tell like, okay, if you selected this one, this is one type. If you don't selected this one, this is another type. Client callable, not client callable. This is one way of treating the types of script include. Is that clear? First thing. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Next thing is next way of treating this answer is okay. script include with one function script to include with multiple functions if this is one function na that is one type okay if it is having multiple functions it is another type that way they took the answer you are understanding it yes sir okay so now if you read this one na okay on demand classes extend x classes okay that is generally they are telling it okay let's make it very simple somewhere that's it ha no we have so, so much of data mm, one second show all in show 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 where is that ma there is the long discussion actually types of script includes but if you don't you don't find the same thing in uh, this one our general thing okay docs it's a kind of discussion uh, this is my different types of script includes i think this one now okay so see here uh, they kept so much new things abstract extend okay that and all not required i will give you ma i will give you that link okay in that link na it it gives the same kind of thing okay classless script include okay with one class script include okay or client callable script include those kind of things will be there types of script include i'll make it very simple the same thing no? maybe that is modified huh? changed ha ah, this is the one okay so this is what they meant it is okay on demand extended define a new script okay script include they they meant they said like this okay this is one way of treating it second way here they given one more link third way is class pattern function pattern name space global this and all okay don't know what they meant it okay design pattern and all. so in view more okay this is what i think missing okay so here this as per this one it's client callable okay if they select it it okay then that is a client callable if they don't select it is not client callable okay so script client callable script include script include with the class okay so it have a script include and one class okay on demand script include okay so both 
there is no class at all but direct script a script include with no function sorry a class is there but there is no function this part maybe you need to observe it earlier in all the script include we seen minimum one function right function 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 initialize function and all but if you see this particular script include now you just kept a class but there is no function written in directly they written this code so that is maybe on demand script include your understanding ma yes, yes sir okay. <coughs> so this is actually not a question but i don't know how like how to, how to explain it so it it have various types of answers ma okay but observe it and then try to keep one answer client callable maybe this is simple one to understand okay client callable and script include with a class script include without a class or without a function something like that you can keep it okay at least answer something and if they ask more deeper don't say i don't know anything that's it fine can so, i say like that ki, uh, there is no types but uh, you can say uh, see it depends on the interviewer uh, ego ma okay da? many okay. many it's like uh, the interviewer will uh, will be in a mode and our answer should satisfy him however we speak that is the answer okay if we say there is no answer na then Sir. he will say I, i there is an answer then <laughs> convincing him is a big thing right right okay so shall i move Sir. yes ma'am yes Sir. yes Sir, generally we get requirement like uh, generally we get the requirement like calling the server side script from client side and we generally do that like using g underscore scratch for display business rule like glide ajax or get reference right is there anything like or we get the requirement like uh, how we call client script from server side no ma it cannot be okay okay so okay. only from script include we can call either this from client side or server side yes ma okay it's as simple as that okay. logically also it is correct okay So now, uh, okay. script include part. Those are the main things. Script include how to calling from script include. Okay, that is very very important question. Okay, and the script include types. Okay, and third important thing is in the script include. Okay, script include type calling. Where where I am writing? Ma, somewhere I am writing right. No, not this one. Give me one second. Okay, I am writing so many places. I think. calling script include okay and is script include type and get xml get xml wait okay script include okay so say let's say you took okay var ga equal to new glide ajax of script include okay add param you passed it and then to execute the function you say ga dot get xml you see it right everyone yes okay. yes sir so <coughs> get xml is there get xml wait is there okay so this is very 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 important question okay so wait no wait okay synchronous asynchronous so which is which will wait which will not wait ma in synchronous asynchronous how we remembered when we were uh, discussing on business tool sync will wait a synchronous mode no, sync, sync will wait that means after business tool is sync it will wait for the second action to be completed yes sir okay asynchronous will not wait it will leave it up and then second action will run separately okay similarly get xml get xml wait in this particular one which is which is uh, synchronous which is asynchronous get xml wait is synchronous get xml wait is synchronous because wait is already there here okay so it is wait is there yes, right so obviously get xml wait is asynchronous either you remember one okay this is easiest way to remember right so this is one of the important question so when you are having if you want to run that function asynchronously or synchronously you can make use of these functions so what type what question will be this sir like what is the difference for this answer simple, ma, what is the question is very simple what is the difference between get xml get xml wait the answer is oh. get xml wait will okay. run synchronously 
Okay, get XML will run asynchronously. Answer is uh, as simple as possible. That's it. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Sir. And now, if they want to explain deeper, then you know how to explain it. Okay. Let's consider two actions. Okay. Uh, synchronously means it will uh, wait for the other action to be completed. Asynchronously means it won't wait. System will take that action as a separate scheduler and then run. Clear? Yes. Sir, yes, callback sir. function will be same for both. Call Enter coding and everything will be same. Function here, ma. Okay. Here you use the get XML and then you use the callback function. That means you are running asynchronously. Obviously, asynchronous is the best option. Correct? Yes, sir. 